Hello everyone, once again you join me in for South of Wales where once again I'm with Suzuki as I test out their all grip models. This time it's for Jimny, an SUV that looks like it's stuck in the past but as you will soon see it's fantastic off-road. And once again I'm joined by Kevin Haggerty, not Haggerty. So after a very quick change we are now in the Suzuki Jimny. So this has got the all grip pro so it's got the uh, low range gearbox and so forth. So once again I'm joined with Kevin Hegarty oh, oh, on this rubber. Giving you a rough ride. <laughs> oh, matron. I'm going to make it <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if it's got very shaky, as you can see. It's a very jagged course. I'm afraid to take any, any water. It's amazing what this little car can do. It really is. Now, I'll be honest, I test drove, well, I, I reviewed for Jimny last year. Um, you're more than welcome to check out that video. And a lot of people liked it, but a lot of people hated it as well. Because when I reviewed it, I did it as a general car review. And a lot of people said, you missed the point of the car. I can kind of agree with them on that front. But at the end of the day, the Jimny can be driven on road, of course. So I thought it has to be reviewed as a normal car. And because I'm not the most capable off-road driver, I was reluctant to kind of do a full. Someone spilled their coffee, apparently. Uh, I was reluctant to do the whole review off road because when it comes to off roading, I don't really know what I'm talking about. So I didn't want that to come across. That, you know, I didn't want, want to come across as if I was trying to tell you how good it is off road when I don't really know <laughs> a great deal about that area. time, Kevin. <laughs> Is this my punishment for, for slating the Jimny? <laughs> so, I have actually done... <laughs> I have actually done an off-road video with the Jimny, which I think a lot of people missed, which is a shame because they were all too happy to slate me for my review, but then they didn't watch the video where I did take it off-road. But as I'm here today with Tatuka, I thought, you know what? Let me have, a no uh, let me have another go in the Jimny, shoot another video, and hopefully it will appease some of the haters for my uh, for my uh, Jimny review. So buckle up, because you, you will need to. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy this video. <laughs> it's a good thing I haven't got, it's a good thing I, I haven't got any fillings because they'd be loose by now. So the Jimny can be driven in two wheel drive mode or you've got four wheel drive or you've got four wheel drive or you've got four wheel drive low which gives it for low range gearbox which is what you need for going off road it gives you that, that extra it gives you that extra traction when the going gets really muddy and what the Jimny is it's a mountain goat it's fantastic you look at it it looks cute and it's styling and it looks very uh it's got a lot of character to it you think that can't go off road not proper off-roading and it can, and that's what, what we're going to prove today. Uh, so these cars aren't, aren't on uh, knobbly tyres, are they? They're on standard road yeah, tyres. Standard tires. Yeah. Standard road tyres. And so far, it's been very capable. There we are, a Jiminy going, yeah, going looks up to our right. It's climbing walls, isn't it? It does. Give them a bit of space. And um, whenever I think of a Jiminy, I know a lot of you probably think I hate the Jiminy, which, which isn't the case. Just look at this. You can just feel the back, can't you? Just searching for that traction. But I don't think the Ignis could do this. So no, no, I don't think it could either. But for Jimny, I know I've already said it, but it is a mountain goat. It's a Japanese mountain goat, and it is fantastic off road. And I accept what some of you, some of you said when you said you've missed the point of the car, because I know and you know that it, it's fantastic off road. And for for if you're looking for a basic cheap off-roader it's not much else you can buy on the market and that's why the Jimny still sells to this day these cars may be brand new but the inside is very basic there's not a lot of creature comforts but to a lot of the owners it doesn't matter because what you're buying in the Jimny is a rugged dependable small compact good value off-roader yeah and it's not one of those cars where you go 
Oh, it's quite, it's quite good off-road considering. This is really good off-road full stop. So there's no kind of like, oh, it's, it's really good off-road for a small SUV or wh whatever you, you want to say. It's just really, really good in general. And pound for pound, can you get much better on the market? The thing is, I reckon you've, you've just really got to have the courage to exploit its capability because yeah. a lot of people will think well it couldn't do that it, it? it looks too cute to do that yeah i mean it's just like but it can it, it can do it yeah it's a short wheelbase is a, is a help as well and it's yeah and it's not a particularly heavy car either no it, it, it weighs under a ton doesn't it yeah. so it's not a heavy car you know, you, you look at a Range Rover and some of them you're looking at over two tonnes or I drove a new um, Range Rover Velar last week and that was 1,000... <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. No, please, that was good fun. And that was 1,841 kilograms, which is not as heavy as, as I was expecting, but it's still virtually double the weight of this. I know it's got lots, lots of technology, it's got lots of touch screens and gadgets and gizmos and so forth. Pioneers, lions and bears. Right, okay. I don't think lions are native to South Wales, last time I checked. There's one. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> so yeah, so the Range Rover Velar is double for weight and I know it's a more luxurious car and you can't really compare the two. So for example, do not put the clutch in. Because then it won't engine brake, will it? You'll just plow down and that'd be uh, no good for anyone. So, uh, so yes, on my Jimny review, someone actually said, if you don't like it, buy a Range Rover, you stupid Brit. And I'm thinking, yeah, but the Jimny and the Range Rover, they're poles apart. Yes, they can both go off-road, but they're for different markets and they have a different price point. So you can't really compare the two. But what we're doing now is fantastic. A Range Rover could do this, but I don't know if I'd want to do it in a Range Rover, in all honesty. You know, if it goes wrong, it's going to be very expensive. Whereas if, <laughs> if this goes wrong, you can probably repair it for next to nothing because they're, they are quite basic cars. So what's this packet? It's a 1.3 naturally aspirated petrol, isn't it? Yeah. Only engine you can get in the Jimny. It's not gutsy, but for this kind of thing, you don't really need it to be. I'm just going down here. And you get a sense you can do so much more. Now, when I took it off-roading uh, last year, earlier this year, I've lost track of time. But some of the... Some of the ruts were really deep with mud. And I looked at it, I thought, Jiminy can't do that. Drove it through, and it did. And if anything, it could have done more, but on the day, I was reluctant to really push the car because I didn't want to damage it, because it's not my car. But I get a sense that it could have done a fair bit more than what I did with it. And again, that was on road tires. You know, imagine if you jack it up on higher suspension, put some big knobblies on it, put some water wading gear on it. You could pretty much take it anywhere on any continent. And it's fantastic that a car like this is still sold. So after Kevin pretty much shook all my joints loose, it was time for me to jump into the driver's seat and once again experience what the Jimny can really do when the going gets tough. God, it feels like a long time ago since I last drove a Jimny. It really does. I forgot how massive this gear lever is. And let's make no bones about it, the inside is dated, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you are fully aware of that. And the engine is a the most refined. I've still got it in 4L, which is why the revs are a bit loud. But if I want to put it back into a normal four-wheel drive, I, I, I would have to stop. So we will leave it be. Let the engine sing its heart out. So I'm not quite as smooth as Kevin, sadly. Yeah, that's very jerky. It's really challenging to be smooth on this type of surface. <laughs> Please, you're being too kind. I'm making a, a bit of a pig's ear of this. And that's why I didn't do a full off-road review because I'm not 
of a most capable off-road driver. There we are. Just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Right, time for me to have a go. Just line it up. And away we go. Did you say Mike? <laughs> I'm, not too sure, I'm not too sure actually, I didn't quite catch that. Kevin's car is going to be <laughs> slow because of the weight of his wallet. The, the drink's on you. <laughs> you wait till I get older. There we are. And this is. Oh, it's a bit bumpy, but what, what I was going to say is. It's a bit bumpy. It, it's very easy, literally. Talk about choice words. It's yeah. A bit bumpy. Yeah. It's a bit jiggly. Basically. But. If you had dentures, you'd be looking at your gums now. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, this car is making light work of this. It really is. There we go. In second. The wheel's kicking back a little bit as we go through the ruts. Just take it nice and easy, nice and easy. We're not, not in any great rush. I can see Kevin's head going from left to right. He's going to have whiplash by the end of this. He's going to put a claim in against me. I'm going to see him doing that. At least your neck's getting a good workout. Yeah. Thanks to you, that's three grand compensation in the bank. Well, by the sounds of it, you don't need the money. <laughs> <laughs> this is proper back to basics, bare bones off-roading and this is something that right straighten up the wheel as we go through this rut. This is something the Jim Lee can do very, very well. Just wait for, I'm just waiting for a minute where me and Kevin headbutt each other. <laughs> yes, it'll be all your fault. <laughs> So apart from getting a little bit lost, it was plain sailing in the Jimny and the way in which it drives off-road is fantastic and there's not many cars on the market today that can truly match it and for that, the Jimny has to be commended. It, it really, really does. Well done. Yes. Good little Jimny. So then, for the Suzuki Jimny, it hasn't got much kit and it's far from being the most refined car money can buy. But you know what? For the majority of buyers, that simply won't matter. Pound for pound, it's easily one of the best off-roaders money can buy. And when you bear in mind that prices start from under £13,000, it's also one of the cheapest. Okay, so it may not be fantastic when you drive it on road, but if you're looking for a cheap, dependable, reliable and capable off-roader, then the Jimny is definitely worth looking at. I hope you enjoyed that video guys, if you did, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more Car Obsession.